Uh, hi, uh, my name is Dr. Ali Nadiri. I'm from Case Western Reserve Metro Health. So we have uh, uh, Dr. Sunil Mankat from Mayo Clinic. Dr. Mankat, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely, you guys do a great job. Uh, thank you. Can you please tell us about the focus update on, on for the valve guidelines that was recently published? Yeah, so this was published a couple days ago, and a couple of the interesting things I think that are, are definitely a change. Um, we used to separate out functional mitral regurgitation from primary or degenerative mitral regurg, and we would quantify it a little bit differently. Um, now, they've kind of gone back on that, and there's just going to be one quantification, so we don't have to have two different scales. Um, you know, the effective regurgitant orifice area for both, that is severe, is going to be 0 0.4 uh, centimeters squared. Now, that doesn't mean that a lower ERO is not associated with adverse prognosis, and it may need intervention at an earlier stage, but at least for the purposes of quantifying it, the regurgitant volume and the effective regurgitant orifice area will be the same. I thought it's also interesting, there's some statements in there about anticoagulation with some of the, they're now calling it DOAX, or direct oral anticoagulants, um, in valvular heart disease, um, for bioprosthetic valves, for aortic valve disease, mitral disease, not mitral stenosis, they're, is, they're giving it some credence that you can use it and probably sleep well at night based on the data that's accumulated in some of the registries. Um, in addition, for SBE prophylaxis, it's also interesting, they've kind of gone back and now they're saying if you have an annuloplasty band, you should give SBE prophylaxis, whereas in the previous guidelines they kind of went the other way. Um, all of this is great. I haven't had a time to fully digest the manuscript. It was only published a couple of days ago, but I think that's one of the best documents that ACC and AHA have ever come out with and uh, really is the Bible. And so now this is uh, the correlate to that. Um, you know, I'm involved in valvular heart disease and structural heart image guidance. Um, you know, I think the role of 3D echo is really emerging in that er arena as well. And so we want to train both the interventionalists and the echo specialists to at least be well versed in 3D echo because it's really a useful tool and the technology is getting better and better. Multiple vendors all able to help make our interventions more successful. On this recent paper, is there any change on the classification of the severity of valve? I know the, the, the um, scoring A, B, C, D, is there any change on that? No, I, I don't believe that they've changed the stages of the disease. Um, I think the only change is that functional mitral regurg versus degenerative mitral regurg. It seems that they're kind of gone back a little bit. But I, I have to read the document in full and to really get the, the nature of it. It's just pretty recent. Um, I certainly have hold the authors at the highest, in the highest uh, respect, uh, including Dr. Nishimura, of course, and so certainly want to put credence into what they've come up with. And, you know, Dr. Bonow and uh, others involved in this uh, process. Uh, the uh, American Society of ECHO also just recently came out with their native valvular regurgitation guidelines, and so this was just published uh, this week as well, so we have a lot of reading to catch up on. Any of those changes are going to be reflected on the upcoming ECHO board for this no, year? I, I think boards will always lag behind a couple years. Um, I'm not involved in um, writing the boards, but I am involved in education on both the Mayo Clinic boards and uh, board reviews and the American Society of ECHO board reviews, and it, everything will lag a couple years. So you're safe going by the 2014 guidelines and any previous guidelines. Now, in the years to come, it may change, but at least a year or two, they have to be published uh, before anything on the boards would change. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you. Best of luck. For more videos, please go to youtube.com slash fits on the go. Thank you.